Okay, you guys, listen. Michelle found this this book. What is the book called, boo? All my girlies know. A Court of Thorns and Roses, you guys. Romanticy. She literally started reading this two days ago at like 10 p.m. at night. She's on page 367. She's about to be done. I shit you not, you guys. I went to bed. We, we got into bed around midnight last night, maybe 1130. <laughs> And she was reading that. All the lights are off. She has this cute little reading light that goes like on the top of the book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I fall asleep. I wake up and she's still reading. The light is still on and it was 4 a.m. Boo. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> no, I'm not. I think it's cute as hell, but it's just like kind of insane because then, you know, we wake up around nine. I come downstairs. Then she comes downstairs with the book in hand, and she just goes right to reading. <laughs> She's literally obsessed, and honestly, I love it. It's better than a lot of other things to be obsessed yeah. with, obsessed over, so. And there's so many books. In this series, there's four other books, and then, but she also has different series, like A Throne of Glass, which has like nine books. Mm. So. Very cool. Well. You won't be seeing much of me, boo. All right, what are you doing? I'm cooking. Why? Hungry. Okay. <laughs> Where are we going after this? C coffee. Why? Energy. <laughs> but we're going, we are going to get coffee because we ran out of creamer and we're about to have a huge <sighs> film session. Breakfast of champions. <laughs> so we need some coffee. So we're gonna go to this place called Houndstooth near us. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna watch anime for the next several hours. It's gonna be sick. Whoa, whoa, that's pretty aggressive. <laughs> what? You like it like this. <laughs> what? What are you, what are you saying? This is a beast in her natural habitat feasting for the first time. Mm. When a female lion eats for the first time, do you know that she has the most energy all day for the next <laughs> several hours after that first meal? You saw what I did? Yeah. You know how like lions, they like do this? Yeah. They're about to pounce. Yes. How was your first meal? Delicious. Good. All right, let's go get some coffee. I make thick and the warm. Um. <laughs> Big mouth? Okay. Of course I can grab your bag. What good would I be if I didn't carry her bag? Got it. What is up? What is up? No. no. Yes. We've been meaning to, but we haven't. We know that you guys were like, just Busy. pull us aside. And we're always like, never wanting to bother you guys. Bother us, please. Let, let's get them on the wall. Let's go. Okay. So, here at the local Houndstooth, they have a neighborhood dog wall. And it has Polaroids of all these dogs. And now Teddy. Is gonna join. All right. Oh, it's a pretend tree. Sit. Look over here. Hold on. Do you have the actual? Yeah, I do. Look. Can you sit? What's your name? Uh, his name? Teddy. 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 Yeah. Teddy. You. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to come back and see his photo on here. I will go ahead and take a honey oat milk cappuccino. Excellent. Vanilla latte, oat milk. Okay, that's yeah. it, yeah. Iced. And then she will do a iced oat milk vanilla latte. So cute. Let's go. Okay, thank you. We'll go grab straws lid. Wait, did we pay? How is it? 
could. Have a good one. Michelle, Michelle clearly doesn't know how to follow the rules. Green. Oops. New swag. No cap. What was that? You're so lame. Why am I lame? You know exactly why. Come on, this swag. Dude, I'm a trendsetter. Before you know it, everybody's gonna be wearing two, two hats. I got two hats. All right, I'm gonna show you how we set up our film station. And that really is it. Yes? <laughs> what? Nothing. I was trying to see a good angle to film to capture. Oh, I guess let's just show you guys a little bit. Just some POV. All right. Let's get back to filming, shall we? Yeah. All right. So you're literally about to watch us start our double day of filming. And this is what goes into it behind the scenes. All right, your 20 minute break is up, ma'am. No! It's time to get back to filming. No! Yeah. Unless you want to be fired, let's go. All right, you guys, our break is over. We had 20 poke, minutes. Poke, Boost. Poke. We had 20 minutes, which was just enough time to eat. Now, we get back to the office. We are diving back in. We'll see you guys on the other side. Bye guys. Yes, I changed my shirt because, and I uh, took off my hat because we are watching fucking Naruto right now, y'all. And Shit's popping off. we're in the pain arc. And I mean, what do you have to say? It got me holding my worry stone. Really, really freaking anxious. It's, it's like so peak right now that we are actually moving our, literally moving our film schedule around so that we can watch more Naruto. Cause we're supposed to watch Naruto, then One Piece and yeah. Avatar. What did we end up moving? I moved Avatar to the next day. Honestly, sorry Yang. <gasps> He's telling him! Oh my God! Before I go to the gym, look how cute this boy is. What's the matter, Teddy? Why are you just sitting? Does anyone else's dog just sit against the wall like that sometimes? I think he's sad. He literally knows. Michelle just left. She had to go run an errand and I'm going to the gym. And whenever we're about to leave, I feel like he gets sad. Like he knows. Yo, by the way, we're about to go to Korea. <clears throat> and we're gonna be there for a month, right? So, as I'm getting into running and I, you know, I'm, I work out five days a week, I was looking for some, uh, basically some all purpose kind of trainers. And these are so dope, y'all. They are, they're New Balance 1080 V13s, something, I think that's it. But you guys, they're so comfortable. They look dope. They're running shoes, but I also work out in them. They kind of, they're everyday shoes so I can walk in them as well. They're a little pricey, they were like 160, but man, like all I'm bringing are these to Korea for a month and then one pair of just like, not dress up shoes, but um, just some, some everyday shoes. But yo, I just wanted to share these real quick. Fire. I'm honestly in love with these shoes, man. And they're like off white, so they kind of go with everything. They look good with white socks, yeah. Fuego. Okay, <clears throat> I just got out of the shower 
and I actually have two videos that I have to upload on YouTube, One Piece and Solo Leveling. It's one of my rules to never batch upload, which is basically uploading multiple videos at once or within an hour because I think that lowers the view count of one or the other, right? Because if a viewer, I look at viewers, they only have an, you know, a certain amount of time to watch videos. So if we give them two options, more than likely, they're gonna choose one over another. So I'm kind of thinking what I should do. I'm thinking I'm gonna upload one piece right now because I just think that that's, that's kind of the bigger one. Hopefully get it up in the next 15, 20 minutes. And then Michelle and I are gonna walk the dogs and then we're gonna film for another two hours or so. And then maybe then I will upload the next video. So yeah. <laughs> Teddy Tupper. All right, y'all, back to another round of filming. We got two and a half hours. Let's get it. Let's go. We got some one piece. Ready? Tired? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, y'all, <clears throat> we just got done filming. It's almost 10 and Michelle and I haven't eaten in a while. And so we're gonna go, or I'm gonna go pick up Chipotle. It's so dope that Chipotle's open till 11, y'all. I don't know if it's like that everywhere, but there's one like 10 minutes from here, less than 10 minutes, and it's open till 11. This really has been <clears throat> just another boring, <clears throat> normal day. I'm okay with it, I love it actually. So I'm gonna get Chipotle, I'm gonna come back, eat with Michelle, then I'm gonna up, I got a video to upload on rice and ginger. Then I'm gonna work on editing this video. And Michelle's gonna read her book. And honestly, that's it. That's a day in a life. And we do stuff like this every day. Obviously, there are little things that change when we eat, when we go to the gym. I know I've talked about that before, but I love it. I wouldn't change it for the world. And we're filming a lot now because when we travel to Korea, we will have all of our videos backlogged so that our patrons won't miss any content. Fuck it, I'm just gonna take you with me on the ride. I don't know what it's gonna look like when I walk outside because of lighting, but we'll find out. Huh, it's not bad actually for being dark out. So with content creation, you know, being full-time YouTubers, what's funny is when we're on vacation and we're traveling and people might think like, oh, we're just taking time off. But really, that's not how it works out. Really, we had to make up for that time before vacation, if that makes sense. As a content creator, you can't really afford to ever take time off. Like you really can't because there's so much pressure on you. And like, you know, our community, Sushi Squad is so amazing. They would tell us like, it's okay, take some time off. But we know financially that that's just not how it works out. And so it's funny. It's just something I want to share with y'all because you know, I wanna inspire people to get into content creation and start reaction channels. That's why I have Reaction Channel Academy and all that. But it is something to think about. There's a lot of freedom that comes with what we do, but there's a lot of, not responsibility, but like expectations as well. We don't get weekends off, you know what I mean? We don't, we don't have time off. When we take vacations and stuff, it's because we double doubled our workload previously to make up for it. So we still work those days. We just, you know, worked it on on other days. So anyways, that's all. That's my little rant. All right, we made it. Chipotle. Yo, by the way, look at these socks. I know it's upside down, but they're, uh, they're Gojo socks. Pretty fire. Uh, I'm gonna do two of the exact same orders. They're gonna be burritos. How many? Uh, two. They'll be uh, they'll be the exact same. Alrighty. Yeah, just one is okay. So I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so. This is a must every time I go to Chipotle. Yo. This. All 
right, we out. All right, got the goods <clears throat> on the way home. And I'm probably gonna wrap up the vlog with this because I know when I get home, there's not gonna be much more content to film other than me editing and Michelle reading and us eating. So I just wanna say that I appreciate all of the love and the comments on the last vlog. It makes me feel so much better about doing these things, if I'm being honest. Because it's weird bringing a camera around and documenting your life, but even if there's just a handful of you that find it, I don't know, entertaining, peaceful, enjoying to, enjoying kind of the, the recordings of seeing what it's like, you know, in a day in the life as, of Michelle and I and kind of hanging out with us virtually, I really just need to wrap my head around the fact that there's no difference in vlogging versus reactions, right? I mean, there is a difference. We're not watching anything, but at the end of the day, you watch reactions with us because it's like you're you're hanging out with us and you're actually watching the show with us. With vlogging, it's the same thing. You're hanging out with us. It might not be as, you know, people aren't going to be searching it and it's not going to get as many views and stuff like that, but I still need to kind of remind myself that I think that's dope. That's, that's like a cool... Um, part of the internet, right? Because, you know, Michelle and I don't go out that much. We don't, like, I don't hang out with a lot of people. I feel like I hang out with the camera the most. I talk to you guys. I talk to Sushi Squad. And so, and really it's just kind of family is who I talk to. So I like, I like that and I need to keep that in mind. So it's really just getting out of my own head and it's like ego or like I'm worried about looking egotistical, but that's it. I do know this though, for anyone that's still watching, the next few vlogs are going to be so dope and entertaining. I'm not sitting here and editing and like, they're not gonna be crazy Casey Neistat storytelling, but I'm gonna be documenting our trip to Korea, y'all. It's gonna be, there's gonna be a lot. I'm gonna like, in the airport, in the airplane, going to Korea, like what we're, everything, I, I wanna take you guys with me. And I think that's gonna be fun for some of y'all to, to tag along um, through this vlog. So I'm excited for that, that's all. All right, I appreciate you guys. Let's go, keep going. Like, if, if it's one thing that I wanna share is just, just do it. I was contemplating, as you guys know so much about doing this, and now that I just did it and I just feel so much better about it. So do that thing that you're hesitant about. You won't regret it. The worst that's gonna happen is you're gonna learn. You're gonna learn that you don't like doing it. You don't wanna do it anymore. You love it, like, that's it. It's win or learn. There's no losing, you know what I mean? So, all right, well, that's it. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.